your lady mama alive. <laughs> this afternoon on day six of the 21 day life at raw vegan detox extravaganza Bam. so I'm coming to you to talk about this what is the best way it is not all about weight loss before somebody in the comments has to be hating and critiquing me I do enjoy those comments but it is not all about weight loss but frankly a lot of people need to lose weight right a lot of people come to this lifestyle because they want to lose weight and in fact then they end up gaining weight what's up with that I think if you're continually gaining weight on and on month after month on this lifestyle you ain't doing it right you know what I'm saying here is the, the key and ticket to me is more greens every dang day. Get out the little things out of your life that you keep on trying to make okay that aren't even on the plan. Fresh, whole, right, raw fruits and vegetables, more today than yesterday and less of everything else. You know, if you're doing low fat, high carb, vegan, more power to you. But here's the thing, at night, the more greens you eat versus rice, the more weight you're gonna lose. And not just because they have less calories, it's because they have more nutrients. The reason that green smoothies are going to help you lose weight is because it hits every dang nutritional mark we have. Every nutrient, vitamin and mineral hole that's in your diet right now. I mean, it doesn't matter People could, could be living off rice cakes for a little while and start to lose weight, but after a while their body will quit losing weight because they're not getting the nutrients they need. And you will become ravenously hungry for anything you can get your hands on because you're not getting your nutrients. Your body wants what it wants, you know? It wants to run off carbs and it wants the nutrients it needs. You need extreme hydration. You need greens. Greens are the key. The more greens you can pack into those smoothies and water every dang day, the better off you are. To really make them more sustainable, like I've mentioned in the past, throw a few chia seeds in there for a little healthy omega-3 fatty acids for brain power so you can be zinging and thinking all day long, right? Um, what else did I want to tell you? I mean, the green smoothies, for example, you all know this, I used to weigh more than 210 pounds. Check it out on Instagram. I'm in the process of trying to find some of my old home movies and seeing if I can video that for y'all while it's playing because I was a whale, okay? The cellulite is there and it is disgusting. Though I am cute when I'm singing to my little girl, um, yes I am the baker man, the baker man. <laughs> Still fat. Was I happy? You know what? I was never happy when I felt like that. I felt like trash. I couldn't move. I couldn't hardly walk to the mailbox. I couldn't stand how I looked. I had low self-esteem. I was ridden with diseases and all kinds of autoimmune disorders. The more green smoothies I started to incorporate, the faster I lost weight and the faster I healed, and that is all there is to it. Um, let's just say, for example, you know, and with your fruit, with your smoothies, I don't mean dates and bananas and water and a little peppermint drops. That's fine. It's delicious. Where's the greens? Show me the greens, people. You know, that's what gives you the added fiber too and the added punch and the added vibrancy. You know, greens make you cute. Cramming in the greens shedding the pounds you know I have no problem now whether I'm super active or whether I'm sitting my butt on the couch typing on the YouTube comments keeping it down to about 124 max sometimes I dip below that but you know I, I beat my scale up with the axe just to prove a point to y'all that it's not all about the weight numbers but what it is about is keeping your body in its grandest form which to me is a lean healthy body you know with enough muscle mass on me that I'm able to do whatever I want to you know with enough energy to get me through the day another thing do you keep on feeling like while you're on this detox plan that you're hungry 
You shouldn't be hungry. Make sure it's not that you're in a mental unrest like we were talking about. What I mean is you're not being doped up by the toys you're eating. I mean food. What you normally eat that are almost like drugs and sedatives, you know? Usually you're not hungry. Another thing is really tip the water on back. Have an additional 64 ounces. That is not what's included in your smoothies and V8 style soup at night. Getting enough carbs in there. Getting enough fruit in your smoothies. Getting enough greens. Another thing, if you're if you're wanting to start exercising, I've talked about the Rebounder a lot. Mine is a Rebound Air, and I've had it for many years. I, I want to say I've had it about eight years now, and um, it's like brand new. So it's really lasted, and it's the kind that folds in half, and it has like a travel case that um, it's very heavy. So I don't know who's lugging that around, but you can throw it in the trunk and that type of thing. I can't really imagine walking through the airport with that thing or something. It's really heavy, but. Um, Bouncing on that, if you can only bounce three or four minutes, if you can only sit on it and bounce like Indian style, do it. Start today with three or four minutes and build your way up. You know, some people might laugh at that with three minutes on the rebound. I tell you what, if you're not used to exercising and your body feels like heck, three minutes on the rebounder is going to do you a world of good. It will be enough for you. You know what I mean? Um... So my my point again today is more it is more nutrients per calories is the key. It's the key to weight loss and it's the key to health. Phytochemicals, phytonutrients, all the colors of the rainbow in your fruits and veggies every dang day give you all the benefits of anti-aging. You know, I look at pictures of myself now. No, I don't think I look 20. I don't even want to be 20. But I think that. It looks like in pictures I'm going back on the aging process. I used to have more gray hair. I used to have more wrinkles. I used to have teeth problems. My eyesight was going bad. Now, I have none of that. I have very few gray hairs. So I'm just saying. <laughs> Again, we don't want calories that don't have nutrients. You know, quit quit pouring in the bag of Dixie Crystals and acting like, oh yeah, carb the fruit up. I don't know about all that. Also, hydration clears up a lot of problems. Um, a lot of times you're just thirsty. There's a book that's, um, I forget the author, but the name is uh, You're Not Sick, You're Thirsty. And um, he has some very good points in there. And there's a lot of data about this about um, when people are dehydrated and when they become hydrated, how it heals up a lot of mental disorders and all kinds of things. Very impressive. Here's another thing. Have you ever been on a water fast? Because I have 10 plus days a couple of times. And I did this experiment, experiment on one of my journeys on that where you urinated in a clear cup and you sat it in the windowsill. And what happens is the acid crystal sediment out of your urine settles at the bottom and you can see the actual acid crystals that are in your urine in your system and over those days how they diminish hydration quit putting in all the bad stuff in your body and let your body heal like it knows how like it was built to do you know I mean you may even be experienced some forms of detox on this depending on where you are on your journey I'm not because this is basically how I eat every day. I'm just blending all my food um, in correct combinations as usual. But it is helping me have more energy and more mental clarity because I have less going towards my digestion in the evening. Also, um, along those lines, what was I going to tell you? Oh yes, so if you're detoxing, your tongue may be fuzzy. It may have this white coating. You know, you could have crust in your eyes. You could have, a lot of that is mucus. You could be coughing up phlegm. Never recycle mucus. You know, if your nose is running, don't go and swallow it. That's disgusting. Do not, let it out. Your body's trying to get rid of those toxins, you know. That's why if you ever have a cold, you never want to take like a cough suppressant or something like that. You want to cough in a way that that is expelling those toxins out of your lungs that, that are trying to get out, you know. Um, 
So, I just wanted to say that little bit of afternoon motivation on day six, and I wanted to remind you to have more fresh, whole, ripe, raw fruits and vegetables in a blended form on your sixth day of your 21-day detox. You my hope, and you my You the bomb on me. You the bomb on me.